What's up guys? Today, I'm gonna be showing you one super simple trick in Photoshop that'll make your life a whole lot easier. But before we get started, I just gotta say, I'm super proud of myself. I wanted to vlog indoors today and it is raining and cold and wet and very dark outside. So what I did, I set up my big light that I use for filming on the tripod here in the corner and just shown it up here. So now the whole room is lit up and I can film indoors, no problem. I find a lot of both photography and cinematography really just comes down to creativity at the end of the day. If you're creative, you'll come up with a unique shot, you'll come up with a different way to light your room, whatever it is, just be creative. All right, so um, yeah, at this point, I gotta get some math done, then we can talk about Photoshop. Let's go. Still super freezing outside, but I got my math done. I'm gonna go make some coffee, then we'll get started. <sighs> all right, never mind about the coffee. My mom is making hot chocolate for all of us because it's so cold and wet outside. So never mind, not gonna make coffee. But what I do want to talk about today is Photoshop. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is boot up Photoshop 2021. Now there's a whole bunch of reasons why the new Photoshop is so much better than the old one, and I'll cover that in a later video. But for now, just pull up Photoshop 2021 and load an image into the project window. So once you get that open, there's a whole list of tools here on the left. And what you're gonna wanna do is go down to the one that looks like a small box with a cursor called the Object Selection Tool. Now what this does is it automatically selects something within a defined region of the photo. Now, this is unbelievably helpful because it allows you to just select a portion of your picture within a small box, just like this. And then the computer will think for a minute and automatically select with extreme accuracy the subject of that box. Now this saves a ton of time because the old Photoshop never had this. In the old Photoshop, you would have to use the quick selection tool in order to go into a picture and then you would have to draw it out to the right size and then slowly paint across and hopefully you would get the entire image. But as you can see, there's jagged lines left along the edge here. This isn't selected. So this tool never worked very well, but with the new object selection tool, you save yourself so much time when selecting a subject. Most of the time in Photoshop, you need to select a subject to protect it from what you're erasing in the background or to change its exposure value from the background, something like that. So being able to choose your subject and select it so easily has saved me so much time when I'm editing my photos. It's a few simple tricks and hacks just like that that make the editing process run so much smoother. Also, got my hot chocolate. <sighs> That's delicious. Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and help mom pack some boxes. That's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that little Photoshop tip and trick. I'm gonna get back to packing. Like down below if you enjoyed this video. Comment anything you want. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already for more great content. I'll see you guys next time.